Ladies and gentlemen, Fox News settled for $787.5 million. NBC News, Fox News, and the company they settled with, the corporation, reached $787.5 million settlement in defamation lawsuit. Okay, here is here, here are the two or three main reasons why they settled. Number one, there were individuals that made claims about a corporation, okay, that were not true. The corporation did not lose even a cent, any money at all. So I have no clue. You have to prove damages for a defamation suit. Alan Dershowitz was talking about how on his channel, you should subscribe to his channel. He's awesome. But he was talking about how you have to prove damages. The only party damaged here or that lost money was Fox News. But number one, they allowed, um, they allowed certain individuals to make specific claims about a corporation. Okay, that had nothing to do with, that had nothing to do with the network. Okay, this is a First Amendment issue. Routinely, guests on MSNBC and CNN had have made uh, defamatory statements about Trump. They routinely called him an operative of another country, which was categorically false. That he was working for the interests of another adversary or adversarial country. This is this was categorically false. They published, like for example, uh, BuzzFeed published the Steele dossier, which was completely fabricated, completely made up, totally made up. They got out of it by saying, well, the government was utilizing the Steele dossier. That shouldn't protect anyone from a death. So what if the, gov the government routinely lies? But anyway, the point is, number one, they, they allowed specific statements about a corporation, still a First Amendment issue. I don't know how the network is involved, but they um, didn't say, hey, this is not the feelings of our network, that type of thing. There was no disclaimer. Had they simply said, look, uh, about a specific corporation, although we're, you know, we don't think things were 100% above board, but about a, a specific corporation, you know, our network, uh, th these are the views of the guests, not our network. Number two is this. Okay, and I've been trying to find a way to explain my viewpoint because I've tried to address this in previous videos. Fox News did not fully back Trump's sentiment. End of story. You might say, if you're, if you're stumbling upon this and you're a morally superior, highly educated liberal Democrat who railroaded Bernie Sanders in a DNC primary, then blamed another country for informing us through emails that Debbie Wasserman Schultz and others we're not treating Bernie Sanders fair in their own primary after they said it was it was fair and neutral. Okay, so Bernie Sanders, uh, they 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 don't even have a functioning primary. Okay, but Bernie Sanders was completely railroaded. Again, if you're a morally superior liberal Democrat, you're looking at Fox News as uh, the you know bastion of immorality. You should probably look at the Democratic primary. But anyway, they did not fully back. Trump's claims or sentiment in the manner that MSNBC, CNN, The Washington Post, The Times, The New Yorker, The Atlantic, New York Magazine, all of these publications and cable stations and all of these, like Twitter before Elon Musk backed the, the, the Democratic Party. They routinely made statements that were not true. There were CNN reporters that had to resign. The Washington Post retracts many stories. New York Times retracted stories. CNN has removed many stories that proved to be completely false. And that they're all in on the Democratic Party. They're they, they have routinely defamed Trump. Okay? George W. Bush, I think Dan Rather, had was fired because of a story George, uh, on George W. Bush about the National Guard years back. That happens every month with Trump. And that's not hyperbolic. That happens all the time. They're always lying about Trump. Donald Trump Jr. There's a list. Glenn Greenwald, fantastic journalist, has a list. 
Uh, I think then there was like the uh, the uh, the awards that Trump gave out for all the false stories leveled at him. Hit subscribe, by the way, to this channel to my super thanks. Thank you. Um, super to, to the Patreons. Thank you so very much. Go to hagoodman.com to read my writing on the Hill, the Huffington Post, Salon, the Jerusalem Post, the Federalist, and other publications. And um, become part of a newsletter. Email me at contactgoodman88 at gmail.com if you want to be part of a newsletter. But ladies and gentlemen, they didn't back Trump's claims. Now, you might, the rebuttal is, of course they back. That's why they're paying. They're not paying the almost, you know, three quarters of a billion dollars. Because they backed Trump's claims. Because they had they gone all in, then they would have investigative journalism. They would have gone all in. They sat on the fence. When you sit on the fence with a public relations monstrosity, okay, so what's taking place here is what? It was a Delaware court, and Fox just didn't want to pay the $1.6 billion because they, they, they thought that they would just lose the case outright because it was in Delaware and so so they just want they just decided to pay uh they just decided to pay the uh, 787 bill, uh, uh, million okay but you know that corporation would have had to prove damages okay there were no damages um that corporation would have had to explain uh, through discovery. Again, see, they didn't want to go all in. They didn't want to back. They didn't want to ser- to back actually Trump's claims, or they didn't want to seem to the world like they actually believed former President Donald Trump. Whether or not they did believe, that is, there were text messages where some of the. Um, hosts didn't believe what Trump was saying, but you know what? How many people truly bought uh, the whole RussiaGate story on MSNBC in, within MSNBC and CNN? Not many, okay, if any. The issue is that what what Democrats do is they have an entire in quote unquote investigative journalism public relations machine. Not about investigative journalism. It is hit piece after hit piece after they. Level suspicion, distrust, and anything they get, anything they, when they defame or they engage in libel, they just, it doesn't matter with Trump. They can lie all the time, but the issue is that they're all in all the time. It's 24-7 negative coverage. They spew only contempt and animosity, and the distrust is... You've never seen it before. So they don't trust. If Trump said the sky is blue, there would be a hit piece saying, you know, Trump thinks the sky is blue. And then they would uh, in fact check, no, the sky is not exactly blue. It's a shade of blue. We rate this mostly, kind of, sort of true. But really, honestly, it's Trump, so who knows? That's what I'm saying is they didn't back Trump's claims. They kind of tried to walk a tightrope. Had they backed Trump, had they gone all in, they would have had to actually gone to bat for former President Trump and his sentiment. They weren't going to do that. They don't want to do that. (laughs) For whatever reason, they don't want to do that. And you might say, well, because Trump's claims were categorically false. Well, that could be one reason. There could be other reasons as well. Um, again, the Never Trumpers, you have two losing ideologies, Never Trumpers and the uh, awakened, so to speak, ideology on different sides of the spectrum, both lose money. So Trump is destroying Fox News and Fox News should probably either go all in or, you know, I, I don't know, continue to lose these, these 700, 800 billion dollar court, uh, million dollar court cases. I mean, again, you don't see MSNBC and CNN with all the lies they've told for years settling for almost a billion dollars, okay? They've gone after actually specific corporations too, okay? 
but you don't see them. And there's a reason for that. And it's what I explained in this segment. Give me your thoughts. Thank you. I'll be back in a